I have heard legends about a land on the other side of the ocean, a place they call the Island of Paradise. The Atlantic Ocean is wild, and I know I am nothing but a simple priest, but I feel God is calling me to set sail. With a team of 14 monks, I will set out from the Kerry coast and cross the sea on a curve. My name is Brendan, and I am determined to find this promised land. On our journey, we encounter many wonders, visiting several strange islands along the way. We find an island full of birds who sing holy songs. We meet monks who never age, and we feast on tropical fruits and fish we have caught ourselves. However, the journey is also fraught with danger, as we battle with fearsome sea creatures, a griffon, and demons which threaten our boat. Thankfully, we are blessed by God, and he protects us until we finally reach the island of paradise. Our voyage has taken us seven long years, but we are satisfied we have done God's work by finding this promised land. Still, we do not stay long, and anxious to return to our homeland, we sail back to Ireland and I become known as St. Brendan the Navigator. 1,500 years later, another man will be inspired by my story. Tim Severin, the explorer, refuses to believe the tale is pure fiction and sets out to recreate my legendary voyage. The year is 1976, but he wants his mission to be as authentic as possible. He uses traditional tools to handcraft a replica of my boat using Irish ash and oak wood, lashed together with nearly two miles of leather thong and wrapped with 49 traditionally tanned ox hides, sealed with wool grease. Once the boat has been constructed, he christens it the Brendan and the crew sets out to travel the 7,200 kilometers to the Atlantic coast. At sea for just over a year, they stop by the Hebrides to the north of Scotland before going on to Iceland and then finally to Newfoundland in Canada. Some of the places they pass are so beautiful, I find it no wonder that St. Brendan considered them Isles of Paradise. Upon returning to Ireland, the voyage completed, Severin decides to place the boat here in the open air museum of Craig and Owen in County Clare. Housed in a large glass building on the museum's grounds, the boat has found its rightful home. Here, visitors can imagine the epic journey across the Atlantic and get a sense of the adventure I felt over a thousand years ago.